and being born is very similar to passing. There's a great similarity in that energy. And we've forgotten what it is. So I just want you to breathe in deeply. And I don't want you to breathe in any external light. I want you to breathe in your own light because you are the most beautiful light. And you're kind of like a scoop out of the ice cream of God. And each one of you is a different flavor, but you're just as beautiful. And I want you just to get comfortable in your own skin. Sometimes the skin feels like it's a restriction. Sometimes we get mad at the skin. And I want you to also imagine above you the Pleiades. We'll focus on the seven beautiful stars, kind of looks like a fluffy cotton ball as you look in the sky. And the stars shine during the day and at night. They never quit shining. They never go away. We just don't see them. So I want you just to receive the energies of the stars. Because it's a part of you. It's a part of home we forgot about. And most of the beings from the stars hold the vision for us of the future that is wonderful and beautiful peaceful and loving. So I just want you to feel that from them right now. Welcome, we are the Pleiadian energies. We come on this day to align you with the field of all possibilities. To align you with the are possibles, not the impossibles. To align you with what is to come, the path that is ahead of you. You each stand at a pathway, a doorway, an entrance and an exit. This lives within every breath that you take, within every thought that you think, within every blink, every heartbeat, every portion of your existence. Everything is an entrance and an exit, but you see it not. Every day as you arise to your world from a long, hard night in the higher realms, you awaken to a new doorway of self. But every morn as you awaken, you walk forward in the same manner, in the same thought, in the same expectation. We ask you to awaken in the dawn of a new day, in the dawn of a new era, in the dawn of a new you. To awaken to a doorway of greater expectations of greater light, of greater truths, and of greater understandings. But you yourself sketch artistically the energy of the day with your first breath, with your first intent, and with your first foot upon the earth and the ground of your household. Before you enter into the day, embrace yourself with love. Embrace the fact that you are alive, the fact that you are breathing, the fact that you have one more day on this earthen plane that you exist upon. Embrace the fact that on this day you have all possibilities that stand in front of you. And you pick from the closet of self what experience will happen to you. For you draw it as you draw your day, as you draw your breath, as you draw in your future. Embrace the allness. There are no shortcuts in your earthen experience. There are no doorways that get you there faster. 
everything is designed for you to experience. It is a personal landscape that you yourself walk upon, think upon, and love upon. It is a personal experience. And every day, you as the architect of this experience can redesign it, can re-sculpt it, can reanimate it into where your heart lives in that moment. Expect the very best of all encounters. Expect nothing but prosperity and abundance and the goodness that life has to offer to enter into your heart, into your day, into your pocketbook, and into your bank account. Expect to love everyone that you meet on the day. Expect everyone to be your teacher, for they are. No matter what guise they wear, no matter what clothes they wear, no matter what truth they wear, it is a gift for you. Expect it and receive it. You for too long have gone around and around in the paddock of self, limiting the opportunities to move forward. Use the experience of the paddock to move yourself in centrifugal force, to move yourself forward past what you perceive as obstacles. Everything in your view changes form. Your obstacles are your greatest master teachers. Your pitfalls are your ladders to success. Your dislikes are the stairways to heaven within your humanness. All of this is changing the uniform of the day. It is a changing of the guards, a changing of the expectations, and a changing of the future through each one of you. Do not look outside only to your world leaders, your spiritual leaders, your gurus, your master, your priests, and your preachers for the truths that you seek. For you are in charge of the outcome of the holographic experience of your perception, of your manifestation, of your intake valve, and of your exhale frequency. <laughs>